Another short presentation from the PLC eUniversity. What is a PLC? This is the 11th in the Factory Rat series, Rungs of Logic, specifically using the XIC, XIO, and OTE instruction. The software is MicroStarter. MicroStarter will support any of these MicroLogics processors. Different brain and different software. The concepts are the same. I call this my galaxy of MicroLogic. The first one was a MicroLogics 1000, followed by the 1200, and then the 1500 but none of the three had Ethernet. The 1100 was the first one with Ethernet, and I would like to point out that the MicroLogix 1000 and 1100 both can be programmed with MicroStarter Lite, which is free software that you can find on the web if you look hard enough. MicroLogix 1100 and then the 1400 both have Ethernet ports. The MicroLogix 1400 is the most powerful of the five and has Ethernet IP then down below is a digital field device simulator. This is the unit that I'm using. All six of these combinations of toggle switches and LED lit push buttons are the same. The inputs are enhanced inputs in that I can facilitate four states. Maintained on, maintained off, momentary on, and momentary off. And then the LED, red, green, 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 amber, blue, those are connected to six outputs on the PLC. All those terminals at the top, don't worry about those. The yellow and brown are analog in and out. The orange and white are pulse width modulation, pulse train output, and high speed counter. Two blue and two green are additional I.O. points on this L32 processor for external applications. Open your programming software. By default, this is what you start with. First thing, click on ladder two to make sure the focus is on ladder two. Drag down a rung, an empty rung. Grab down a true if on instruction, and then drag down an energized output instruction. Now we need to give them addresses, bits in memory to address. I show you the default form. We do actually have some inputs and outputs that are default with this project, but I'm going to use internal bits. So I'm going to put in B3 slash zero. When I press enter, it completes the full official name, if you want, for that pointer, for that tag name, for that variable. Bit zero of word zero of binary file three. I'm going to go over here and type in B3 slash one, and it completes the full tag name. Both of these tags, or both of these bits of memory, are in the same word. I'm going to double click on B3 here to bring it up. I'm going to click here and lock it on top so it doesn't disappear on me. Now I'm going to finalize this here verify file this wrong says if b30 slash 0 is on then this is true energize this bit in memory b3 colon 0 slash 1 now we're going to download this wrong comms system comms select your controller and download now we're online we have this rung of logic downloaded to the controller and I'm going to toggle on this bit. Now the, this is not connected up to an input. I right click on the bit and hit toggle bit. Notice that that put this bit on but this bit also came on. And the reason that we're doing this is to show you that you can have a rung of logic that accesses bits in memory that aren't connected to any I.O. and they can control each other. So this is your first rung of logic. Let's add one more rung of logic. I'm going to cheat a bit Right click, copy, right click, paste. Just like with the word processor. I'm going to change this instruction. I changed it to a true if off and I'm going to pick a different memory bit to control. Verify. Test. Assemble. Now notice I did that all online. Now we have Two instructions, a true if on, true if off, reading the same bit in memory, controlling two bits. If I toggle this bit now, watch what happens over here. This instruction is now true because I turned that bit off. True if off, energize output. Toggle it again. True if on, energize output. Let's go offline and make some edits. When going offline, I usually save. 
click offline. Now let's make some edits. These were what we call internal bits. B3 word 0 is a 16-bit word binary file 3. It's not connected to any I.O. I'm going to select this one, hold down the control key, select, control C, click there, control V. I'm going to edit these two rungs. I'm going to make this one input 0 slash 0. This one output 0 slash 0. And I'm going to make this one output 0 slash 1. Make this input and you can drag and drop. So I can grab an address and drag it down to an instruction. Now we're offline so all that we have to do is just verify. I'm going to download com system comms. Pick the processor, download. It gives you this message every single time. It's in the run mode. You want to change it to program? Yes. It's downloading. Change back to the run mode? Yes. Go online? Yes. And now we see that we have an actual input. Now I'm going to toggle that input on, off. True if on, input zero, energize output zero. True if off, input zero, energize output one. And there you have ladder logic. At least you forgot, if you look down at the bottom, you see the location of output zero zero and input zero zero and the other bits that we use in the memory layout. And those are rungs of logic, ladder logic diagrams, LLDs. For more information at a slower pace, go to PLCE University, click on virtual classrooms, program logic controllers, and have at it.